Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Marr. Uh, we're going to start doing the initial steps, the armature step of the mask making process. And at this point, people should have a good idea of who their character is going to be, uh, what kind of role that person has, or person, object, animal, whatever. Um, real or fictitious. You can totally make it up. It can be, you know, an alien from Mars. It doesn't really matter. But um, you should have a good sense of that and have already done your sketch. So now we're talking about the armature and that's the first step that we're going to do. This will probably maybe take a first day. You might get to roll out the slab. Uh, but basically this is not going to be the mask. And it doesn't have to, I have an example that's a face mold right here. But it doesn't have to be and as a matter of fact it should not even look like a distant relative of this when you're done with it so the armature is how you're going to change that a couple of things that are part of the criteria for this assignment are that you're going to alter the proportions of the face or the features of the face and that there are things that stick out so maybe it's going to be wearing a baseball hat or have hair or horns or a crown or just about anything. Uh, you can also do it mixed media and attach things afterwards like um, straw or braids or yarn or feathers or jewels or just about anything you can think of. This is how we're going to change it so it doesn't look like a distant relative though. Depending on what you're doing, and I really don't have any idea what I'm doing, um, we're going to alter, like well, for one thing I would make the nose bigger. You still want to think about the facial features and keep in mind that this is not, I cannot stress this again, this is what we call an armature, not the actual mask itself. The mask itself is going to be about as thin as your pinky, let's say. This is just going to hold space and help to create the shapes and I like doing an armature with clay because even once you get your actual mask slab on there, you can still push around the armature underneath. So maybe I'm going to build up eyebrows, okay? So we're going to create, now this won't really be an eyebrow, it's, it's really the muscle part of the brow that I'm talking about. And it's going to lead into the forehead. I'll turn this upside down a little bit later and so that you can see what I'm talking about. We want them to be relatively even. But you can build that up this way. And you don't have to use this mask uh, form. Uh, this one, I don't know if you can see this. That was done using a two liter Pepsi bottle or Coke bottle. Okay? You push a little clay underneath on both sides and build it up the same exact way. You're going to uh, uh, just save some space with this. Okay, maybe we want to make, make, maybe the chin's going to be kind of pointy. Okay, if you were doing like a Superman or superhero, you could square off the jawbone or the cheeks. Um, you just don't want anything that's going to hook around. Like if I were to take this and make it go like this and I put my slab on later it might get stuck on this, it might get hooked around that so make sure there's nothing that the clay of your actual mask later will be able to hook around. You're not going to do tiny things like eyes or lips if you had a really exaggerated um, I don't know expression maybe uh, you might you know puff up the lips if it was going to be a clown or something like that uh, or if it was a dog or something with a snout, you could put a lot on there, okay? Or a bird with a beak. But I would not make the beak come all the way up and hook over. Okay, let's say, say I was doing a beak like that. This is a bad example, but you could do, you wouldn't want to make your beak hook like that because it would be hard for you to lay down the clay on top wrap it around here and then you wouldn't be able to pull this out because it's hooked in there so what you would do in a situation like that well, let's make a bird okay so it's going to be a bird with eyebrows uh, let's say we're going to make the bottom part of the beak but not the thinner pointy part at the end we'll make that part of the mask 
um, but I want it to be kind of round. And then add the other parts on top. Now, if I'm doing a bird, I might want to give it big googly eyes. Okay? So, already we know this is not going to look like the mold. And these eyes are not going to be round like this. I'm just doing this to save space. Okay, maybe the eyes are going to point out on the sides of the head a little bit. I don't have to be too fussy with the clay right now either because number one, we are going to push it around and number two, it's not really part of the mask. If you're having a hard time working with it though, you can wet your hands and the clay might cooperate a little bit more. So, once you've finished your armature, you need to protect it from drying out. I'm going to make this a little bit flatter because I know how hard it is sometimes to get the mask off of the molds. You don't want it to get hooked up anywhere and if it's too deep, that could be tricky. Okay, then I would take my saran wrap, get this guy out of here. You want a little extra saran wrap so that it will wrap underneath. This is going to protect your armature from the actual clay because you do not want them to connect. And you have to remember to make your clay big enough, or your, your saran wrap big enough, that it gets in all the nooks and crannies. do this okay and still goes all the right way around and is underneath okay that is an armature it's not going to make as much sense to you now as after we do the next step we're going to use the slab technique and Um, you, that's probably it for this time around. I'm going to do the slab technique and the mask itself on a separate video. Okay? So, first day, when you come in, in person, you're going to have your sketch, any reference materials, all figured out. You're going to know exactly what you're going to do. And the first thing you're going to do is get some sort of form. And you're going to create an armature. If you think you want something long and narrow, bring in a, uh, you know, a two liter bottle of soda. Uh, make sure you have the cap on it because you want the air to stay inside and keep it firm. Okay? Uh, if you want something completely round, maybe you want to bring in a salad bowl or some sort of bowl that you can use. Um, and you always want between your um, actual clay for the mask and your... Um, armature, you want to have saran wrap so that it's not really going to stick. Okay? So, that's it for step one. I'll be back with step two in another video. Have a good day.